We believe that fraud is a cost of doing business. And I know when I say that, it creates emotional responses and vehement disagreement. And it's not that we're saying fraud is fated to complete. We're not saying that it has to occur, but it does. And what companies need to recognize, it's a cost of doing business and they need to manage it. Fraud risk assessment is the key tool to do that. It's identifying, it's understanding, and it's building controls that are unique and specific to that company's organizational structure. So fraud risk assessment is just another way of managing that particular cost, and that's why it's important. A key aspect in fraud risk assessment is to realize that it's more than just a one-time process. It's an ongoing process. Companies are continually changing. A friend of mine once described his company, uh, the pace of change was it was like trying to change a tire, a flat tire on a car that was going 60 miles an hour. The environments, the business processes, the people, all of the things that go into building that scenario are continually changing. And so chances are, what you had last year is not what you have this year. And so it's important to realize that these things are dynamic. They need to be updated on a regular basis. Well, risk tolerance is something that everybody's talking about. And fundamentally, it's a simple concept. It's the idea of what level of risk are you willing to, to live with? What's interesting about fraud is the disconnect between the theory and the reality. I've never seen an organization where they've had fraud and somebody sat back and said, great, it's within our tolerance level, we can accept it. Fraud has such an emotional reaction within organizations. In one sense, they're taking the position that fraud should not happen, which means they have zero tolerance. But that's not cost effective, it's not a reality statement. And, and, and so what I think organizations need to do is ensure that their risk tolerance philosophy or strategy is really linked or associated with their true control theory. And they have to accept or recognize that fraud provi controls provide reasonable assurance, not absolute. And by its nature, it means fraud will occur. The tolerance concept is supposed to say that it occurred within acceptable levels. On reflection, one of the things that I think audit teams need to focus on is this concept of linkage. What we're seeing now is that auditors are doing fraud brainstorming sessions and they're creating a memo. And then they're creating a fraud risk assessment and they're creating a work paper. And then they're executing their, work, their audit program and performing procedures. One of the things I would strongly encourage is for people to see how that risk assessment, how that brainstorming, are they linked together in a way that we can see the response to the particular fraud risk. And I think that's one of the things that we really have to be focusing on as a profession in the coming years.